Certainly this has been the most challenging year for all of us as we continue to adapt to ministry as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Our churches have remained faithful and cautious as we continue in ministry and using our limited technology and resources for our online services. I've been so pleased to see so many of our churches learn new technology to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and to stay connected with their worshiping communities. COVID-19 has been devastating to many of our tribal communities. We have lost many of our members across OIMC and many have also recovered from the illness. This pandemic has hit indigenous communities hard across the country. We were most fortunate to have collected supplies and funds for the Four Corners area at Shiprock, New Mexico. The pandemic had drastic effects on the Navajo Nation, which had more COVID numbers than some of the largest areas in the country. The supplies we took provided great relief for them, and we are thankful for the many contributions we received. We have been fortunate to have received funding from organizations inside and outside of the United Methodist Church. The funding has ranged from non-religious organizations to our partners at UMCOR and through a special fund for Native Americans to help our communities with the COVID-19 relief. One of the larger grants came from our partners at Perkins School of Theology to the Luce Foundation. We were able to provide funds for our food banks, local churches, and areas of OMC that are further away, such as Dallas Indian United Methodist Church, Wichita, and Lawrence, Kansas. Our churches with great ministry with children were able to purchase food and snack packs for children who were at home during the pandemic. We're also able to provide utility assistance to families in OMC. The homeless community continues to grow in the Oklahoma City area due to the pandemic. We use funds to purchase backpacks with necess necessities such as blankets, socks, flashlights, and toiletry items for about 72 persons. Most recently, we purchased personal protection equipment for our children in OMC churches. The General Board of Global Ministries provided us a grant to purchase masks for children, water bottles, and small sanitizers, which are all required in schools that are meeting in person. That was a great blessing for us. Those funds came from the Native American Ministry Sunday Fund. We were also able to order school kits from UMCOR when we learned that many schools would be meeting in person earlier this fall. We were able to deliver over 6,000 school kits to area schools and tribal schools and other organizations. We are so blessed with our connectional network through UMCOR. One of the exciting projects last year was the work of our volunteer and mission teams. We were excited to celebrate the construction of a new facility for the Good Springs United Methodist Church. The historic Choctaw Church has needed the church for many years. The former structure was in bad shape, and yet the faithful members continue worship and work towards raising funds for a new place. Wayne United Methodist Church of Wayne, Pennsylvania came in the summer of 2019 and finished the dry-in of the one-room church that now has indoor restrooms. The work of Wayne United Methodist Church inspired folks in the local church to complete the work and they did a great job. Funding was provided by a grant fund through the Oklahoma Methodist Foundation, the General Board of Global Ministries, and the local church. It is a beautiful facility. We're excited to have finished the first course of our new satellite course of study program. This new venture with the General Board of Higher Education and Ministry, Perkins School of Theology, and OMC was created to address the needs of bivocational pastors to take the courses locally. In addition, we were able to use indigenous persons to teach the courses. We were also able to access funds from the Native American Ministry Sunday Fund offering for the satellite courses for OMC students, which in turn helps our budget. Our largest funding source comes from the General Council on Finance and Administration through their General Administration Fund. We learned last month that they are forecasting a 50% collection rate through general church apportionments. The result is 42% below what we had budgeted for 2021. We're working on a plan for other sources of revenue to address this great shortage. We're very thankful for the support from local churches in the Oklahoma Annual Conference. Many of you continue to support OMC through your mission and ministry dollars, and it is greatly appreciated and needed, as you can see. We know that God provides for us all. Romans 12, 12 reads, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Thank you for your support and partnership with us. I know it has been a most challenging year for all of us, and also know that we, were all, we are all in this together, and we will make it through together.